All right, guys, uh, just going to be doing a real quick upgrade. Um, I'm going to use this uh, trailer valet. Um, this, this setup here, which is uh, allows you to put a impact driver on this uh, to raise and lower the front end of my uh, uh, toy hauler. So um, you know, stay with me as I just loosen some screws. Hopefully it's a matter of uh, taking out three bolts and swapping this out. So uh, stay with me and we'll see what we come up with here. I'm gonna use my uh, AC Delco 3 8 inch battery powered ratchet here. Okay. Yeah, that was easy. Taking the weight off of the tongue using that uh, heavy duty uh, jack, that heavy duty jack stand. That's about the only way you could go for the several hundreds of pounds. I think it's a thousand actually, a thousand pounds. So let's take that foot off. Pull that pin out. Hopefully that just, yep, just came right out. So let me set this guy side and let's put this one back in its place so I'm going to do the same thing just take the take the foot off here slip that down in there oh, so good bolts line up I'm going to keep this straight now you could you could mount this any way you want but I'm going to keep that going forward and um, I know that this uh, this setup, this trailer, uh, came with some mounting screws. Um, if they fit, then I will use them. If they don't, then I'm going to reuse the ones that uh, are on the trailer to begin with. Sometimes that's the simplest thing to do. So let's just check these bolts out and see if they work which it looks like they do. So I'm just going to washer each one of these and get one started there. Now I'm going to get them started, not cinch them down, just to make sure I get this seated the way that I uh, want it. Um, obviously, if you cinch it all the way down on the first bolt, then you may not have an opportunity to line the other two up just like that. And I had to move that just a centimeter get that hole lined up better and still a little off so just move that just enough let's get this guy out of the way and we'll come on this side up get a better view you know I'm just a little off just another reason why you don't necessarily want to tighten anything down until you get all of them started and uh, started free because last thing you want to do is cross thread one of these things too all right i'm gonna put these in you see that one feels a little cross threaded and it is so you don't want to do that i'm gonna take that out and this time I'll keep going until I get past that burr part there. Make sure it's straight. Same thing, this one's wanting to cross through it. So let's take that out. And
Super tight, but having them on there, that's it. So now that I got that on there, I can uh, go ahead and run this. It comes with this, comes with this, which is a little drill adapter. Um, and I've got my impact wrench out there. I'll go grab that here in a second. But let's just go ahead and put this crank handle on here first. Let me see. That does, uh... And I'll put this foot back on. grab my impact driver so we can whole reason why I put this on is so that I could use my impact driver to raise and lower this thing all right so I got my uh, impact driver I went ahead and uh, this thing this uh, trailer valet piece actually had a little stub out here that was more for putting inside a you know a drill um, and I just don't see a cordless drill having the uh, power that it needs to raise and lower or something that's putting about a thousand pounds on the tongue so i went ahead and ground that off so that my impact driver seven eighths inch socket would uh, fit on that um so let's give that a whirl see where we're at and maybe if the trailer valet people are watching they can either make or sell an option it would be for a, a, a drill or an impact driver half inch impact driver which is what I think it's gonna take to get that uh, raise and lower that uh, trailer uh, there we go all right now that just slides over top of that just like so and just make sure you can see that while we're working here yeah it's a little I want you to miss that okay right there that's better all right all right so now we're lifting that uh, trailer up we should be off of this jack we are now so just uh, lower this. And then raise it. And I do I do think I'm uh, I do think I'm right about that. I don't think that a uh, a um, standard uh, drill would be able to lift this trailer up. So Anyway, I think that's exactly what I was wanting it to do. I've got the hand crank here if I need it. And then uh, this one, I've got that uh, out. So good backup option here, but uh, also I've got the, this, uh, this attachment to go over that handle. So anyway, the Trailer Valet, a uh, super, super neat product. Uh, easy, easy upgrade. You saw that that literally run time was two minutes for you to replace that up. So I think that's a really good upgrade for your... Uh, for your trailer so anyway 